Hello, hello! Awesome Soul here, back again with another robot review. This time, taking another propeller bot because I feel like it. Unfortunately, there is flak on the enemy team, I have noticed that, so, uh, might be a little difficult for us, but we will try our best to pull through. So, what exactly am I piloting today? I am piloting the Nilfwing V4 by Mechfried. Unfortunately, we appear to have lost our tail section, but we have recovered. There we go. So, what exactly is this bot all about? Well, it is a weapon-focused bot. Not necessarily armor-focused, not necessarily speed-focused, just is packing a lot of weapons. Which is alright in certain bot types, but when it comes to a flyer, especially a prop flyer such as this one, not entirely sold on the concept, personally. I do think that your CPU could be spent in better places. First off, Plasma is definitely a good choice for a propeller flyer. But the problem you have here is you've got the Protoseekers, which are great for taking out air targets, but you've also got the lasers, which are also great for taking out air targets. So what I'm saying here is maybe drop one or the other. If you want more power to use for your Plasma, you think your Plasma is going to be your main weapon? Then drop the Protoseekers. See right there, that was really, really good. So uh, Protoseekers may be a better choice than the lasers, possibly. I mean, Protoseekers are fun to use every now and then. But uh, if you really want to, like I said, smash uh, ground targets, go for uh, the removal of the Protoseekers, then you will have more power to use for the plasma. But if you do want to be more of an anti-air sort of fighter, then go with the Protoseekers and scrap the lasers. Personally, I am enjoying the Protoseekers, actually. I haven't really touched the lasers, so I guess we will try out the lasers, see how well they fare. Now, of course, they're not the largest size lasers, so they are keeping the uh, power in check, which is nice. But if you're not really dishing out a whole lot of damage, then I don't really see a massive point to using them. If you do want to keep them, though, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend sizing up, going for the largest size. Uh, maneuverability is the other issue this thing has, and I believe from what testing I've done, it seems to be the fact that the back lift is lacking. So it's got a lot of front lift because, you know, all those wings, but back lift it's only relying on two tiny little rudders to keep this thing airborne. At least the, the back half airborne, at the very least. Alright, pal, you need to go. I am sick and tired of this guy smashing my face off. Although this thing doesn't really have a face, no, does it? The cockpit, off. Although the cockpit has been the last to go. So, uh, I'm tired of dying. I think that's uh, the point that needs to be made. And it's the point that's definitely gotten across. Uh, so, flak, this thing definitely falls apart to it. Very, very quickly. Uh, but what can you do, really? That is the uh, purpose of flak, to take out air units. And believe it or not, this is an air unit. Who would have thunk it? There we go. So where's our little flak, buddy? There you are. Oh! Yes, that's right. I do not have a lot of power to work with. I kind of forgot about that. So, uh, yeah, not really the greatest as a bomber, because you don't really have a whole lot of power to work with. I guess what you could do is maybe downsize the plasma one, get a few more shots off. And the more shots you have, the more likely you are to have a better chance at hitting them, possibly? I don't know. It all comes down to the CPU that these weapons are using up. And of course, Protoseekers are 100 CPU a pop, so uh, 
I don't know, it's just something to consider. The other thing that I would definitely recommend is upsizing these propellers. You are... Yeah, you got a decent speed, but it's nothing to write home about. And I believe the larger propellers would definitely be a great advantage to this thing. You might have to extend the wing sections out a little bit, because I can definitely see it being a little bit uh, tricky to try and fit the larger ones on here. Right. Can we get the kill? Hell yeah, there we go. But surrender? Why do we need to surrender? We're winning! Although it is kind of close. Uh, Alright, let me just fall down, not get flacked with my 2% health, and get killed by the Tesla ball. Actually, no, it's packing lasers too. Alright. Okay, this is a little bit too close for my liking, although I think if nobody dies... Please don't die. Okay, good, he escapes. If nobody dies, we shall reign supreme. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We can get the kill on this guy. I honestly am actually liking the Proto Seekers, but like I said, they do take up a lot of CPU, and if you want to upsize those propellers, that's even more CPU, and then you're gonna want to increase the size of your back rudders which is even more CPU. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll jump into the garage bay and quickly go over a few things as well. So, what exactly can we do with this bot in the garage? Well, like I said, the back part is lacking as far as lift goes. So, definitely, definitely, definitely beefing up these back rudders to the largest possible size and possibly even adding a second rudder underneath, like a second layer of rudders, that would improve the lift and most likely the turning yeah, a lot. So these things, the upwards rudders, definitely need to be upsized as well, just to really keep uh, them around a whole lot longer. Now the nice thing about propellers is that you can turn decently well even without rudders, but without them, they uh, will cause you a few problems. The other thing that needs to be said here is one, the whole back tail section is incredibly narrow. There isn't really a whole lot to it. So beefing up this, basically from this point onwards, needs to be a little beefier. Possibly adding some rods inside it might help. And the last thing, that needs to be said about the tail section, is the very tip. As we can see here, both of these things are being held on by the exact same two cubes. So take out those two cubes, and you take out the rudder and the, I guess, well, they're both rudders, but this one's like the maneuvering rudder, and this one, no, that's the lift rudder, maneuvering rudder. There we go. I know descriptions. But yes, Widening those out a little bit more, and obviously upsizing them, is fairly important. Uh, possibly doing some rod work inside here, though if it's not really connecting to anything important, rods aren't quite as powerful. But uh, yeah, that kind of does it for the tail section. The front of the bot seems to fare a lot better in combat. The back end is being taken out a lot, which is rather unfortunate because a lot of the plasma is also back there, so it's going to uh, definitely decrease your plasma fire rate since it's easily taken out. Another thing, possibly remove these wings. You could spare some CPU, and these little ones most likely are not providing a whole lot of lift. But I haven't experimented without them, but that's just something to play around with. Another thing I uh, thought of is possibly cutting down one Protoseeker. So you have three in total. That will limit your fire rate slightly, but it will spare you a hundred CPU to work with, which will give you either more power or you can strap on some other important components, such as upsize the propellers. 
you could remove one protoseeker and upsize two of the propellers and you will be at the exact same CPU level. So yeah, that's a few things to consider. I, of course, have been the awesome soul, and I will go ahead and end the video right about here. I thank you all so very much for watching. I have other bot reviews out. There is a playlist, actually, if you uh, feel like checking out some other people's creations and possibly getting some tips for yourself. Hopefully this has helped you in some way. But yes, like I said, I of course have been the awesome soul. I thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.